Hey, it's Liz with Big Tech's Worms, and today I'm going to talk about bugs in the worm bin. And please just ignore my chickens and my goats in the background being all noisy. They're just all upset about something. Um, let me start by just giving my little spiel about bugs in the worm bin. My overall um, opinion about bugs in a worm bin are that bugs are normal part of a worm bin. You have decomposing fruits and vegetables. You're going to have different bugs that find their way because they want a meal. Um, they will help break down the fibrous materials. So if you have an outdoor worm bin, just prepare to have bugs here and there. If you have an indoor worm bin, you can avoid having most bugs, but some bugs are still going to find their way to your bin because you have decomposing fruits and vegetables, so you're going to have bugs. So this is my bin outside that I, I put my fruits and vegetable scraps in, except when it's really, really hot. And you can see um, I have all kinds of bugs in here. There's roly-polies, there's lots and lots of mites because I feed lots of fruits and vegetable scraps. I even have some ants in this bin, and I'm not thrilled about the ants, having the ants. And when I have ants in my bin, I know it's because my bin is too dry, and it is way dry. I need to really moisten it because it's been in the near 100 degrees here um, temperatures here in Texas for the last uh, four or five days so I haven't been vigilant like I should be in getting out here there's some roly polies um, and getting the bin uh, moistened so you can see there's a cantaloupe there I'll see if there's anything under the cantaloupe you will see beetles you will see weevils, you will see roaches, you will see ants, you will see pot worms, white worms, roaches, mites, red mites, white mites, um, black soldier fly larvae, which I'm very upset that I don't have any black soldier fly larvae, but I'm happy at the same time because I don't really like them because they're kind of gross looking. They look like big old maggots, um, but they're very, very common in a worm bin. And I haven't had that many. Um, I shipped some worms about a week ago and somebody found a couple little black soldier fly larvae in their bin. And um, I, ha I had not seen them before then and I haven't seen them then in the bag that I shipped. So um, sorry about that, but like I told her, it's just a normal part of the worm ecosystem. So um, if you don't want bugs in your shipment from me, order worms by the pound because worms by the pound, I separate all the worms from the bedding and ship them sterile, basically, in fresh peat moss or coconut coir. So they're not gonna have any bugs in them. But I don't like shipping them that way because I don't think they survive and they do as well in a worm bin. So here's my goats jumping up on the bin. Um, overall, just worms or bugs are not a big thing to get upset about in the worm bin. I'm trying not to get attacked by my goats here. They've decided that my worm bins are their new toy, I guess. Um, so don't freak out about bugs. And if you do get freaked out about, by, freaked out about, gosh, by bugs, then worm composting probably isn't the hobby for you because you're just going to have bugs here and there. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Come back to the website, bigtextworms.com to learn more about worm composting. Bye-bye.